Now for the final piece of the blog, the blog post, the blog post entry, you know, the magical one that uh, there's a whole reason why it exists. So let's just pick one of these, relaxing on the beach with a nice cold placeholder title. And because that template is empty, we generated that a couple episodes ago, there's nothing to show. So I'm gonna paste in some static HTML and then go through the process of wiring everything up. We'll just confirm that it works. We've got just a real basic uh, little bit of content here and you probably have a good idea how this is going to go but i'm going to show it to you anyway we're going to replace the title we are going to replace the author avatar and author name for the alt tag we'll put that author name down here it's going to be the blog posts and blog content was the name of the uh the variable we chose for the content fresh that and there we go. I mean, obviously this is really basic. This is uh, kind of cheating the style on the content, just <laughs> throwing some vertical space between paragraph elements, but that is the basic thing. Um, I recommend using a, like a markdown or prose or content class that you can kind of hang all of your CSS off of when you want to style your blog posts in like long content article like this. But this is, this is basically it. Oh, we forgot the we forgot the image. Let's throw the image in there. Do image uh, featured image featured image. We're gonna get that alt tag in there. We'll add some bottom margin and <laughs> some top margin too. There we go. Basic blog post. All right, so there's one last thing we need to do. We set up some meta fields, so let's hook those up in our layout file. Let's make sure we're doing it right, so we're gonna go and edit the relaxing on the beach with an ice cold placeholder title entry, and let's, let's add an alternate meta title so we can make sure that it's pulling it in correctly. Maybe you need to hit some keywords like, uh, beaches are more awesome with placeholder titles especially cold ones. Oh no, it's too long. I guess we're just going to have to leave it here. And then an alternate meta or a meta description. Bears, beaches, placeholder titles. All right, we'll save that and jump back to our code editor. And we're going to hit the layout file because that's where all that the uh, HTML, the header HTML is. Whoops, here we go. All right, so right now the title tag is using title, and if it's not set, do do two question marks falls back to site name. Uh, let's change this to meta title, falling back to title, and then we're gonna add meta name description content meta description this script ti one. And let's refresh, let's pop open our code and make sure that's pulling in there. We have title is beaches and more awesome with placeholder titles and bears beaches with placeholder titles. So that's how you can do that. You can set up however many more fields you want. If you wanna do the meta tags thing, if you wanna do a whole bunch more stuff, that's totally fine. Um, you can also use SEO Pro, you don't have to, but this is kinda of, uh, a simple way to do it yourself. So there you go.